Every home is unique and every building is different. But when you start looking at enough buildings, you can start to see some similarities. And after a while, you can spot different types of building. High population density areas, low density living, light industrial and so forth. Being able to recognise clusters of types of buildings is really important for local government in order to prioritise where resources need to be allocated. For security teams, being able to identify clusters of threats and spot where resources need to be allocated is really important too. Although every threat is different, when you have enough of them, you can find those similarities and cluster them together. So let's look in our big data system at uh, the threats that we've recently detected. Instead of considering each threat as a single entity, what we'll do is cut those threats up into lots and lots of many different little pieces. And then we can see how many of those pieces are shared between different threats. And that way, we'll be able to find the threats that are related because they've been built from the same parts. So let's let the script finish. And now let's see what we've got. OK, here we go. Let's visualize those clusters. Each dot that you can see there is a single threat. I can zoom out. And each one of those spider's webs that connects those various dots together is a cluster of threats that are connected to each other uh, because they share similarities. What we've been able to do is reduce the complexity of a very large number of threats into a much smaller set of related families of threats. And we can take each one of these family groups and look at it in more detail in order to understand what is it that the threat actor is trying to do. So let's pick one of those clusters at random and see what we can see. So here's one threat uh, where the threat actor is executing some encoded content within PowerShell and then attempting to download additional content from this domain, v.beahh.com. Well, we'd certainly want to block that domain and look to see if there's any other malicious activity associated with it. But it's through having an unparalleled visibility of threats on the internet and being able to transform that raw data into actionable intelligence like this that allows us to respond collectively in order to protect our customers and generate the best threat intelligence.